Welcome everybody, Level M Diecast today. Today's a rough day. Uh, we are looking at Japan Origins. This is the second mix. This is number six through twelve. Uh, I'll be frank with you. I've never been more disappointed to open a Matchbox item in my life. Um, I think this is probably the worst set that Matchbox has made in a extremely long time. Uh, it's just such a disappointing set. But we will take a look at what we have going on here. Uh, first one on the uh, little stand there. That is the Honda Civic. That is the uh, hatchback four door. That is the uh, previous to current gen. It's uh, the 2017 Honda Civic. Uh, that one is only one per case, so that one was a little bit difficult to find. I'm not really sure why people are scooping it up because, as you can see right here, that is a rehash. It is a re-release, and you can see all these in the front. They are all from the original release. There are six models in the set, and four of them are re-releases. So this is the first one that we'll take a look at. This is number seven of 12. There is the deets on the back, should you need the deets. Try to showcase that for you guys. So there is the information. Open up our Honda Civic. See, this one is dated R38. So relatively recent uh, manufacturing. Uh, just in red, does have full tampos on the front. And then, of course, has full tampos on the rear. Does say Civic. I believe that is a California plate, I believe. Yep, there we go. So this is our original one here. I think this is the original color debut, I believe. Uh, L47 is the base. So just looking at the details on the base. Get that angle in there. Doesn't look like anything on the base has been changed uh, from then until now. So the original one is on the top. You see that they do have the same wheels, those small six spokes. They do have, you know, a shade variation for sure. Um, not very much, though. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, if you get the right amount of lighting in there, you can definitely see something. See a little bit better from the top. You can see they both do have the same clear window, same uh, kind of uh, gunmetal gray interior color. So those are not different, unfortunately. And then taking a look at our details on the front here, of course, the original on the left, the new one on the right. The prints are a little weird on these Civics. They don't quite get in there all that well. Um, not as thick, I guess you can say, maybe on the older one as the newer one. But, I mean, they're the same prints. They're the same prints. And then flipping around to the back, they both still have that same California plate on there. You can see that the taillights are much, much lighter red. On the new one, that is definitely for sure, but the rest of the details are the same between the two. Maybe a little bit darker on the fake vent detail in the bumper. Um, the new one is definitely a little bit darker red, but other than that, I mean, it's there's just nothing there. There's just nothing there. So we'll put that one there, and then we'll put the new one behind it. Next one up that we're going to take a look at, that is going to be the MX-5 Miata. Now, this um, casting has been modified, and I'll be frank with you, I am not quite sure what has been changed on this casting. This is the original release of it. This one right here is dated J10. So you can see that this has been out for a very, very long time in just solid red with the uh, kind of uh, black chrome painted wheels on there, the five spokes, same ones that we will see here. So we will crack this one open. This one is number nine. So we're not going in any particular order. So we'll pull out this one. This one has been relatively abundant on the pegs. So our original will be on the top. Of course, there is a red color difference because, of course, there is a definitely difference in the headlight print. The new one is smaller, a lot more black in there as well. They both have fog light detail in there. They both have the same wheels. Taking a look at the rear details on this guy. The taillights are a little bit brighter on the old one versus the new one. Um, and then, of course, those uh, bumper lights are definitely printed differently between the two. Uh, definitely smaller on the one on the bottom than the one on the top, which is the original. And it just has, you know, your Mazda logo in there and stuff like that. Other than that, nothing fancy. Original is on the top. Now, you will notice uh, there is thickness, metal uh, thickness difference to where the top of the door is. You can see that there. So this interior here actually comes up to the edge of the metal. 
the original one, the interior is underneath the metal lip there. So I think that's going to be what has been changed on the casting. You can see there's also an indention where the headlight or where the uh, um, windshield is. Very difficult to see that. But then this one, um, it's just kind of smooth around the corners. So this is the new one. This is the modified casting versus the old one. And then, of course, the windshields, they're the same. However, um, there's a just a little bit of detail differences between the depth of the material and stuff like that on there. So, But the interiors are the same between the two. They are both right-hand drive. So no difference there. So I drop it right on the ground. And then our original is on the top. So you see that that one dated, dated J10. It's copyright 2015 Mattel. And then down below, you'll see all the changes to the base because it's now copyright 2015 and copyright 19. So they changed the interior. Um, I think that's the only thing that's changed on the casting. It's just the interior part. So if you are a hardcore completist, at least you do get the new version, um, although it's really not that big a deal, in my personal opinion, because um, you'd really have to look for those, those changes if you want to see them. Now, we're going to go on to this one, um, which has been a disappointment, to say the least. Now, the when the Lexus was first announced, everybody was super hyped. Everybody was super you know, on board. They couldn't wait to get it. The casting is a little bit small. The problem is, is that they released it and then they re-released it later. And then, you know, in a carry forward mix, now they have it in this. Um, at least we have finally gotten a confirmation that we will get a new deco uh, in 2023 with the 70th anniversary deco on it in silver. Um, but we were supposed to get another one in black. I'm not sure what happened to that one. Um, this one comes with like this kind of weird, kind of a champagne kind of color to it. Uh, very nice metallic. Looks pretty good. This is the original release of P51. Comes with the small or the uh, disc hub wheels, the larger disc hub wheels. So we will crack this one open. This guy is number 10 of 12. The card art is meh. I think Japan or I think just whole this whole series of Japan Origins has just been a disaster. All right. So this is the new one. Uh, this one is dated R38. Still does have that fantastic uh, kind of a champagne metallic uh, color to it. Looks pretty good. Shockingly, there have been very, very few color uh, variations between the releases. I, I, I do give my hats off to Matchbox for being able to replicate this color that well over and over and over. Looks pretty good. Original is on the left. Taking a look at the details in the front. The prints are the exact same. There are no differences between the two. You got your Lexus logo in there. Headlights decoed up. See the bases are the same color of gray. The windows are both clear. They both have uh, kind of a you know, metallic-ish looking gray interior. No differences there. Taking a look at the taillights. You'll see that the uh, red is maybe a little bit lighter on the new one, which is on the right versus the original release. Uh, but they both have Lexus on there. They both have the Lexus symbol. They both have a blacked out, um, you know, license plate area, which is unfortunate. And of course, the same wheels between the two of them. The two-tone casting, the way that this is made. They get that two-tone break in there. Of course, no changes to the base between the two because it was just released right around the corner. So a little bit unfortunate. I guess the only thing I guess you can roll with is that they are spun a little bit different from each other. That's it. But I don't think that that's anything that really matters. Now, I do only have three MR2s here because I will admit, I will admit, I was unable to get, so this is left-hand drive, I'm sorry, right-hand drive, headlights down, right-hand drive, headlights up. And this is left-hand drive, headlights down. So I need left-hand drive, headlights up, which I think is this one. Oh, that one is right-hand drive, headlights up. So this is the one that I... I'm going to crack open uh, the rest of those I just bought just in case there was something different, but I, I guarantee there won't be anything different on these. This is number 12 of 12, the first generation Toyota MR2, 1985 Toyota MR2. Uh, this one is going to be left-hand drive, headlights up version, but yes, as you can see, Japan Origins does have all four versions in case you missed one previously. There is the MR2. Of course, there is the left-hand drive with the headlights up interior. This is the you know original one, 
of left-hand drive headlights down. So the whites are exactly the same. They are both gloss white. They both have the silver painted um, small six-spoke wheels. No differences between there. Swigging around to this side. I'll just show you the bases real quick so I can make sure I get the right one. So R38 on the bottom and then P13 on the top. So make sure I switch those around. So headlights down is going to be our original version, but they both have the same Toyota with the logo on the hood. Same clear window, same black interior versus, you know, left or right hand drive, depending on whichever one you got. Then taking a look at the uh, taillights, minimal at best, um, you know, shade difference between the red and the oranges at, at best. I mean, you, you got to squint and you really got to look for that. Um, other than that, exact same prints between the two. They both say MR2 on them. No other changes between the casting. Very, very disappointing, but at least I do get the other version that I was looking for. So we were just going to set those down just like that. Barely fits on there. Kind of scoot these guys down just a little bit. Make some room for everybody. All right. Now we do have, shockingly, uh, we do have two new decos for this mix. This is a brand new deco. This is for the 62 Nissan Junior in orange. This is brand new to this particular mix, number 8 of 12. So at least we get something new. Not a whole lot new, but at least we get something. So this one seems to be at least a couple per case. It seems to be the easiest one to find. Well, second easiest one. Uh, next one is going to be the easiest one to find. Does have full front printo, full front tampo prints on there. Looks pretty good. No side tampos. And then, of course, rear tampo prints looks good. Does have Nissan on the plate. Looking pretty nice. Does come with a tow hitch. Looks good in orange. Definitely like that one in orange. R38, of course, is the base code. So that guy will get a little bit of a stance look to him. Now, Japan Origins in the first mix, we got this WRX in Japanese uh, police. I'm assuming that's what that is. With your you know, crescent on there, looks pretty good. Does say Matchbox in Japanese on the back with some Japanese writing. I'm assuming maybe that says police or something to that effect. Um, but this in black with uh, a blue tinted window, kind of weird, but does have gold five spokes on it. Looks good. A little bit of gold print on there as well. Trying to get a little bit of tail eye detail in there, but it only got one side pass. Did get additional tampos on the front with uh, headlights. And then, of course, the plate done up with the Japanese uh, version of Matchbox. Now, in this second mix, we get the 350Z in a matching deco. And I'm not saying, like, sort of matching. It's exact. It's exact. I mean, it's exact. So we're going to crack this one open. This one is number 11 of 12. Casting has been around for a very long time. I think this casting has been around since about 2003, 2004 ish. Um, good to see that the interior has returned. They are now putting the interior back in there again. Looks pretty good. It is have a gold interior, which is just weird. Uh, just clear window. Uh, it's kind of tinted window, but um, you know, not super heavily tinted. There is the deco on the side. Does have Z. Says the, the same um, gold five spokes on there. Looks like they. Barely can squeeze in those taillights on the side prints. Looks pretty good. And then, of course, there is the base deets. 2003 and 20 Mattel. So casting was modified in 2020. And of course, just the onset of the two. Exact same writing. Not quite as uh, small of a shield as the Subaru got. But um, other than that, it is the exact same deco on the side. Subaru just gets gold on the bottom instead of the white on the 350Z. So there you go. Throw that guy down right there. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is Japan Origin Series 2. Um, highly don't recommend it. Um, it's it's a terrible set. It's a terrible set. Um, I'm very, very, very rare that I actually say something negative about uh, Diecast and especially Matchbox because Matchbox is, is uh, my bread and butter. But this is an absolutely abysmal set. Um, I'm glad that it seems to be selling very well on the pegs just to get rid of it and move on to other stuff like, you know, the poor shit that's going to be dropping in 2023. But I'd like to hear you guys' uh, opinion on that and see if, um, you know, you agree with me or not, if you think that it's a great set. But 
Regardless, there you go. We're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Love them. That cast. Peace.